2020 is a total change of program. We are in crisis mode right now. Many of us are talking about survival. This is a global crisis, but the world is changing faster than ever before. And much of that is going to be positive. There's no such thing as going back to normal. And normal wasn't good enough anyway. Now it's like somebody's taken the whole world and shaken it up like a, one of those souvenirs you get from Paris or Venice, you know, with the snow in it, right? right? And all of a sudden it's like, oh, you know, this is turning upside down. Right? And guess what's ending up on top? It's basically big tech, big health, and big state. <laughs> That's kind of a rough summary of what we're seeing right now, right? Maybe data is no longer just the oil, it's also like plutonium. Right? Because data can be weaponized. We're going to see carbon taxes. Right? We're going to see carbon taxes for flying. We're going to see carbon taxes for meat. All right? we're, going to, we're going to see the things that were unthinkable. Either the Green Deal or a done deal. Right? We're, we're not going to survive a, a, a situation where we don't pay attention to this. It's really quite clear that traditional capitalism is unfit for the future. This is a very important point. Just keep in mind, in the next 10 years, technology will be so explosively advancing, exponentially, that many things that we want are becoming possible. Technology drives that process. It drives the future. It drives our society. But our ethics, our values, and, and what we want, you know, it will define it. Technology can do great things, but it does not want to do great things. It doesn't want anything. Let's keep that in mind when we talk about investing in technology. We must define the want and the purpose and the why. And one change of program is that all of a sudden we realize how important people are. The more we connect, the more we have to protect what makes us human. So too much of a good thing in terms of technology when we get too far into this, like we have with social media, we clearly have gone too far with the algorithm. I think the ideal future that we want is HI, human intelligence, and that means emotional, kinesthetic, social, intellectual, all of that. You know, there's 12 different kinds of intelligence. Pair that up with machine intelligence. And keep the difference. Working like a robot has no future. I mean, working like a robot is what robots do. Right? Learning like a robot is a recipe for unemployment. I mean, we have to move on to the human-only parts of what we do. So it's quite clear, as machines become intelligent and take over their routines, it's about human-only attributes. The future is not about tomorrow. The future is a mindset. I want to give you five points uh, to take home you know, for right now. Staying safe is the most crucial. You know, we've been through the same here in Switzerland, to stay agile, to keep changing, to stay smart, uh, to be informed. Most important thing is to stay together, you know, to help each other. And lastly, let's stay optimistic. Yeah.